Hello, hello. So, hi everybody. Come on into my craft room. So this is another Facebook Live with Sponge and Stamp with Tina. I'm Tina Carini, and I'm so happy to be here with you guys. Uh, we're going to be doing a really cute card. This is a simple but cute card, but I'm going to show you just some tips and tricks on how to really step this up so that it will be a dynamite card. So that's what we're doing today. So I hope that you guys are having or have had a fantastic week. And just comment in the comments below where you're from and all kinds of stuff like that. You can ask questions and I try to read them as I go along. But I have a new system here that my sweet, sweet husband and son collaborated together and got me for my birthday and Valentine's and for my anniversary. So this is going to be a trial and error, so to speak, with the equipment. So you guys just hang in there, but we're going to have a good time. So I'm going to go ahead and put you down to my to the crafting table here. I'm going to bring in, um, let me show you what I'm using tonight. So from the mini catalog, the January through April 2024, we're going to be using... Um, Hooray for surprises. And I need to put my eyes on because I can't read without them. So, and I look over to my screen because of the way that the old system was. My monitor was in front of me. Now it's to the side of me. So I have to remember that the camera, so I can look at you, is in front of me. So it's different, but we're going to work with it and I'm going to learn it and it's going to be all good and cool. So we're going to be using the Hooray for Surprises bundle. And also I'm going to be using, I used this in the last video too, the Sunny Days Designer Series paper from the Celebration brochure. So Celebration is going to be ending soon. It ends on the 29th, which is less than a week away. So if there's anything in there that you guys want, remember that with every $50 that you purchase, you can earn something free. Okay, so I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap here to protect my surface. And we're going to put the card up here. So I am going to have to kind of look over to my right to make sure that everything is in, in the screen so you guys can see. So um, I don't see any comments yet. So I don't know if that's, are they not coming across? We did have one from avatar that didn't come through okay um, so we're gonna have to set up in the future an actual live feed of the facebook specific okay so can i hit refresh chat you can try that okay so hang in there guys we are just learning all of this no it does nothing so you guys are gonna have to tell me or i'll have to go back and read them in there and I don't remember how to do that so I do have a PDF that um, I'm gonna try to pop up on the screen and I'm probably gonna need my son's help even though he went over it with me a few times but you know this old brain it doesn't stick so let's I'm gonna put that up there so if you want to you can take a screenshot I will put it in the descriptions after the video so you can you can uh, download it and print a copy if you want to. So I hit this first. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this, and then I'm gonna hit this, mm -hmm. okay? And you guys should be seeing that now, so hopefully you are. I'm so sad I can't see your comments, so I'm gonna rely on the Zoo Crew to fill me in with what everybody is saying. So I'm just going to give you guys a few minutes to read that over and look at it and take a screenshot if you want to. Remember, I will have the link to that in, in the description so that you can um, download it and print it out if you'd like to. So that's probably enough time, you think? I hope so. It'll be in the description, you guys. Okay, so now I go back here, I think. Nope. Uh, here. Which one? Oh, I got my comments. Yay, you got this. Thanks, Kim. Hey, Jacob. 
Um, Jacob's my son. He's part of the zoo crew over here. So where do I go from here? Because now I'm lost. Uh, I go to the craft. There we go. Yay. Okay. So are you guys ready to get started? I'm going to turn this light off because everything looks yellow with that light. But if I don't have the light on, then my face is like really too dark in, in the video. So if that makes sense, I hope that I keep looking at the monitor and not the camera. Okay, so we're going to start off with a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. This is five and a half by eight and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. You can always just fold it in half. I do need the light on so I can see. So it's going to be a little bit of a yellow cast. I'm sorry, you guys. But anyway, so I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to give that a nice burnishing. Oops. And there we go. So that is the beginning of it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with, just like in this card, so we have our designer series paper. This, I believe, is two and a half by, um, I think it's four and a half. And then we're just going to put that down again on the PDF. It's got the, the correct measurements. We're going to lay that right there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. So we're just going to take some little Tombow glue here. This is my favorite glue. Every now and again, I will use um, the seal and do the tape, which is a tape runner. Every now and again, I will use that. But for the most part, I really like my liquid glue because it gives me some wiggle room. So if I don't lay something down exactly where I want it or if I don't lay it down straight, I have a little bit of room. All right, so now we're going to come in. We've got our pieces of paper. I'm going to put this aside. So we've got some scrap white. We also have a layer here. That, see, I'm so glad I was copying this card and not thinking about what I wanted to do. So good thing we're still going to use that. We can salvage that. We can also salvage this. So this instead of going on this card see i was just copying the card we can just lay that on there to give us a mat and it's still got some sticky on it so we're good and if i want to put extra sticky i can all right so that's going to be down like that and i'm okay if it's a little bit bumpy right there because our cinnamon is going to cover that up so now we're going to put the glue on this so by putting the layer on that, that steps up, which it's on crooked. <laughs> you guys, lives are so tough because when you do have a mess up, you can't stop and start over. But we're going to go with this. So, oh, thanks. Michaela says the auto sounds great. That's awesome. Hey, Carol, so glad you joined in. Um, so yeah, so you guys don't, don't worry about that. That's okay. So we've got two pieces of scrap here and what I'm going to do, this is the bundle. I forgot to show you guys in the beginning because I'm like really nervous using new equipment. Haven't been doing very many lives lately because everything was breaking on me, which is one of the reasons why my sweet husband and son collaborated together and my son was helping my husband with getting the right stuff and and he's the one that's been hooking it up and teaching me and all that great stuff so i've already got this this blocked so we're going to use this flower out of here and then we're going to use you're the best and then in the inside of the card i'm going to stamp hope your birthday is wonderful then with the dies these are great you guys because these have awesome awesome dies in here so one day soon, I'm going to come on here again, and I'm going to show you how to make a um, interactive card where it opens up. So that's what these tabs are for, because you can peel this open and there's a surprise on the inside, like a surprise sentiment, or um, you can put something inside of it, which I'm going to show you because it's going to be really, really cool. And the same thing with this too. Then you can make a dotted background here which I haven't used this one yet as you can tell it was super super stuck so it makes little holes in your paper so it's really cool 
and then you have your heart which just cuts a heart and then this one also does the pull tab too then we have another two little flowers the flower to cut the big big flower out and then we have some different types of leaves so we're going to use the flowers in both types of leaves so it's Grand Central Station in here today. Everybody is coming in and out. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to close this up, put this to the side because I've got everything out that I need. I hope that I do. All right. So now we're going to use blueberry bushel. I love blueberry bushel. It's a dark, bright blue. I'm just going to ink up my image here, my stamp and we're going to stamp down now normally with photopolymers you want to use some type of a pad underneath it like a cushion like i love to use my piercing mat but i haven't been having much issues with this particular stamp so we're just going to use that and, and i'm hoping that it's going to be okay hey lynette so glad that you're here yes carol i'm glad that you caught me live Okay, so there we go. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to bring in, um, let's see here. I'm going to bring in this. I've already die cut that, but this is what you're going to need another scrap for. And I need to bring it out of here because I did not take it out. So you're going to take the larger of the circles and you're just going to run this through your die cutting machine. And then that will give you this. Now, because it's supposed to be an interactive where you pull it, it's got little notches like perforated, so it won't, so that it will pull open. Hopefully that makes sense. You know, I could probably run this through, but um, I'm not going to. <laughs> so it will leave like little tiny tabs on it. So all I did, if it bothers you, is just take a little fingernail file or some type of a file that you have and you can just file that down smooth. All right, so I'm going to turn my circle to where the tab is facing left. I'm not worried about the tab because the flowers and all of that will cover that up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink up my sentiment. You're the best. Oh, I know. They're so cute. I can't wait to show you guys, too. They're, it's so, so sweet. I'm just going to stamp this in the center. Carol said that she can't wait to see how, how I can make the inter interactive cards. Yeah, it's really fun. It's fun. And it's, it's super easy once you kind of get the trick down a little bit. There's a teeny bit of trick. Now, I've already gone ahead and die cut it my flat die cut it I die cut it is that right I don't think so but who knows die cut my flowers so then I'm just gonna place those down now let me sh I should show you this though so what you've got if you look at the front of your stamp stamp stand this is just a little tip for you guys you can see how the flower how the flower is so I've kind of stamped it kind of sort of the way it is on here but what's easy for me to figure it out is I look at the flowers and watch me get it wrong this time because it never fails. And I see where my longer petals are on my die. And then you just kind of line that up in there. See, I told you I wouldn't get it right. <laughs> there we go. So there's my two petals right there. So it's pretty easy to line up, but if you wanted to to make sure that you did, you would stamp it and find where your die, like this. So I've stamped it and I found where it is. So I know how I stamped this. So I stamped it like here. You can take a mark, um, like a permanent marker, on the outside of your stamp, not on the part that you stamp with, but on the top side here. And you can put like a little mark so that you know to line that up every time like that and then on your die you can do the same thing you can put a little mark like a little tick mark so that you know that that's where that lines up every time or you can just guess like I did <laughs> 
So I kind of know about where it goes. So it goes like so. So you just line that up and then you run it through your die machine. Now I find it easier um, to make sure that this is that it holds in place so that it doesn't slip on me while I'm running it through is I get it lined up right where I want it. And you can take a post-it note and lay it across the top so it doesn't move. Or I take post-it tape and I tape it down. The post-it tape or the post-it note won't tear your cardstock, but it will hold it in place. So that's a nice little tip for you guys. Okay, so we're gonna come in. What did I do with my circle? Here it is. We're gonna come in, we're gonna bring back in our card. See there? Now you don't even know that I made a mistake, right? Because you can't even see it. So we're going to figure out exactly where we want this. And I'm going to follow this and I'm going to put it right there. Now there's a couple things that you can do when you're stepping up a card. You can use your dimensionals and pop them up. You can um, use ribbons and banners and lay them underneath if you'd like. But I'm not going to do the ribbons and I'm not going to do banners. But what I am going to do is I'm going to do this one flat. Now, the old way that I used to do things is I would pop everything up because, let's face it, the more you pop up, the fancier it is, the prettier it is. But the mail service has gotten so picky that you don't want it too high. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to glue this down flat. And I'm just going to lay it where I think my sentiment is straight. But you guys know me. I don't stamp straight. Nothing straight. Okay, and then we're going to place our flower, but I'm going to put a dimensional because I am going to pop up our flower because I think that that will be really, really pretty. And it will add some pizzazz to it, right? All right. Okay, so there we go. So we got that. So now we just need to put some leaves on here. So I've already die cut several leaves. I'm using granny apple green and I may throw in some old olive. I really, I'm going to close this up because if you guys saw last fit last video where I didn't close this up or I don't remember what happened, but my card fell in the ink pad. Yeah, I know. All right. So then you're just going to figure out exactly where we want these. I don't think I want these together, so I'm just gonna carefully tear that right apart. And I'm just gonna play around with where I think I want them to go. So when you make your card, you do the same thing. Just kind of play and figure out where you want your card to go. Now on the film, those two colors look like they're pretty much identical, but they're not, they're close. I wish that my um lemon lime twist was in but it won't be here till tuesday so um because i really wanted to do granny apple green with lemon lime twist okay so there you go so now that is already stepping it up just a little bit more don't you think so i think i'm good with that now here's the trick it's not a trick it's a trick for me to do it because I never can remember exactly where I had things when I placed them down, but I'm going to try my best. So I'm going to take some glue and I'm probably going to put just a little bit more than I need so that I have a little wiggle room <laughs> and it'll be underneath my flower. So if it oozes out, you won't see it. <laughs> Isn't that a great analogy? I think it is. So anyway. Do the same thing here so it is just gonna go just like that see I don't think I'm gonna get it just like I had it okay that's close enough right all right then we're gonna take this piece right here and we're gonna do this so when I'm doing a lot of stuff like this like in my last video if you haven't seen it go back and see it because I tell you, I didn't use the trick, but I tell you how I did it. So, no, it wasn't in the last video. It was something that I told you. I can't remember now. Shoot. Oh, it was when I did the card. Jacob, can you, or Kayla, can you get that card that's right there, the pink one, the flirty flamingo one? 
with the berries. I did a picture of it. Thank you. And I think that I told you guys in a description or something. I know I did. Um, how I did this because there's no way for me that I would have placed everything exactly how I had it. And it takes me time to place things and figure out where exactly I want them. So when I got them exactly like I want them, you can take press and seal, saran wrap, not cling and seal, press and seal. And you can lay it carefully on there and then press it down and then that will hold everything in place. And then when you can flip it over, you can glue all your pieces where, and they won't move. Does that make sense? But that is really even easy for me to do it that way. So that if you have a hard time replacing something exactly like you had it, that's a nice little tip. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna step this up even more. So we are gonna bring in this. I die cut this flower. I can get it over here. I die cut this little flower here using this die right here. So we use this die, which cut this flower. Then I use this die and I cut out other flowers. So I cut out some yellows, Daffodil Delight, um, Pool Party, and Melon Mambo. So you say, well, Tina, there's no Melon Mambo in your card in your right. But wait till you see what you do when you add just a little pop of color. Okay, so I'm gonna take this flower, and if you guys can see, it die cuts little holes in there. So a tip for you is to cut you out a little piece, a square or whatever. You don't even have to cut it perfect. As you can tell, mine is not perfect. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna glue that to the back. That's it. You're just gonna take some glue and uh, yeah, you're just going to glue that. I probably should have used tape runner because this is one of those things where tape runner would have worked better. But it's okay because this glue will dry clear. So it will be all right. All right, so I'm going to lay that right on there. So let me hold this up for you guys so you can see what that looks like. Isn't that cute? So you can't really see in the picture, but I will take still pictures and post them right here on this page so that you guys can see them a little better. So that's what we can do. Now, if you didn't really like this look, you could take the daffod, not daffodil delight, melon mambo little flower, and you can place that in the center of it just like that. Now, I'm going to show you something else that some of you may know, but some of you may not know. You've, I'm going to bring in my piercing mat here, and I'm also going to use my, um, where is it, my take your pick tool. And in here is not only like this little poker tool here. There's a flat end too that you can use for a spatula. And also, I have got, well, it was up here. Please tell me it still is. This end here is a stylist. So you've got a smaller little round um, ball and then you've got a larger round ball. I think I'm gonna use the larger one. We're gonna try that out. And then what you do is just, you just push in the center and then you just circle around like so. So, and then that pops up your little flower just like so. And if you wanted to, you probably could do it to your yellow one too, but I'm not, I'm not going to fool with that. But you could probably do that. You could place your little flower to where you don't see the dots. Okay, so what do you guys think so far? Oh, yay, you guys love it so far. All right, so it is quite a bit of a difference from this card. Do you guys think so? So here we go. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to move this out of the way. Check in for what? Okay, so my son just told me I should do a check in to make sure that everything is looking good and the audio is still good. Because again, you guys remember, this is all new equipment. I'm looking at the monitor again. 
So this is all new equipment and um, we're just trying to make sure and tweak as we go. So if you guys, if there's anything that you that you think needs to be tweaked a little bit, just put it down in the comments so that we know. Is my voice too loud or whatever? Um, just let me know in, in, in the comments. That would be great and it would be a big help. So we're going to do this. So I'm going to use a glue dot and I'm going to so how many of y'all saw my intro or my start thing did you guys like that I thought that was pretty cool with the music and all so that you know it gives me voices perfect I see your beautiful face Lynette thank you everything is perfect <laughs> oh my gosh thank you you guys so much that is really really awesome everything's a go okay so we've got that now I need to just I think I'm just going to put a little glue on this I'm not going to do a little glue dot now glue dots sometimes will also give you a little lift so maybe I will do that it will give you just a little bit of lift so I'm going to put that right there just like that and if you wanted a little bit more lift you could double it and then that will give you a little bit but not as much as a dimensional so we are going to put that right there all right well I just flattened my flower but that is okay because we can just curl this back up there we go all right so what do you guys think so now we've got one more thing we can do to step this up a little bit, I got to go into my drawer here, you guys, so and get out these. I'm going to use some basic rhinestones. Now, there are lots, lots of rhin um, embellishments in the catalog that you can use that will really, that are, they're beautiful. There's rhinestones, there's pearls, there's colored um, gems. There's sequins, all kinds of stuff, but I'm choosing to use the basic rhinestones because I can color them and have them match my card perfectly. So I, did I bring it in? I did. So here I'm going to use my Stampin' Blends. These are alcohol-based markers that are, they're permanent. So um, I am going to take my Dark Melon Mambo and I'm going to color, hmm, I think I'm going to do one of the little ones and I grabbed one of my old beat up ones. I know I have a new one somewhere. Okay. I don't have time to look for it. All right. So we're just going to use the light one. <laughs> I should have looked at that, right? All right. So there we go. And I'm also, no, I think I'm going to do that one, that color. I'm going to bring in my take your pick tool again. I'm going to take my putty end which I really need to get a refill for. I'm gonna pick that up and I'm just gonna place it right in the center of my card. So it's pink on pink. Now, if you wanted to do something a little bit more um, that stands out a little bit more, you could just do a solid one. You could do, um, you could do a different color one if you wanted to, too. So um, you could do yellow or you could do, really whatever you wanted to do would be would be perfect all right so now I'm gonna bring in my dark blueberry bushel I think is what I want to use and I'm gonna color a big one a medium one and a little one all right so that's pretty cool isn't it how you can just color them see how I get oh it's not picking up in the camera there you go see how you can just color them and it stays it doesn't go away like if you use your Stampin' Write markers it won't it won't stay so then all we got to do now is figure out where we want to put these these puppies so I'm gonna put one there and then I think I'm gonna put one here and then I think I'm gonna put my little one right up there so there we go so now don't you guys what uh, don't you guys but what do you guys think? Do you think that this 
card right here, this simple and it's cute, which I would love to get a card like this in the mail, but we turned it to dynamite. What do you guys think? <laughs> so that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? And it's really not that hard to really step them up. So this is more like a, a little bit more than a beginner because you do a little bit of die cutting. So if you don't have a die cutting machine, you really can't do that. But um, don't be afraid to get one because they're a lot of fun and see what you can do. It's awesome. So I think that that is it for you guys tonight. Let's see. I'm going to see the pop of color really brought out the greenery and the greenery of the card. Yes, Kim. I, I think it did too. Hardest part is I never know where to put me too, Carol. I never can. It's so hard. I just, you know what? I've just gotten now to where I just kind of just throw them on there. Uh, whatever. You know, <laughs> they're on there, right? Okay. So, um, love the hearts, you guys. Thank you so much. Hey, you guys, if you don't mind, share this video um, so that more people will get to see this and see Sponge and Stamp and and uh, we can get a bigger community followers for us. Oh, my son just reminded me. I am now on TikTok. Can you believe that? So let me um, let me go up here. So I'm here. All right. So yeah. So I'm on TikTok now, and you guys can um, if you if you have a TikTok account, just follow me, watch me. Um, that will help too, because we're just trying to venture into different markets, um, just to just to get us out there. So, you guys, I really do appreciate you coming in here and joining with me, and um, just having a good time. I hope you guys had fun with me, and I will see you. I'm gonna go live Thursday night. I think about 7:30. I will post. There will be a TikTok reel about it too. Um, and I may even try to do a Facebook reel as well. So you guys, again, thanks so much. And until next time, see you later. How do I stop it? <laughs>